to the Clubs at St. James new pool reservation booking system. First off, to access the system, you have to log into your member account. So go to your web browser, type in the clubs at stjames.com. Once you do that, you'll be brought to this screen and then go to the button to the right that says login. Member login window will pop up. Mine is saved in, so I'll just call that up and then hit login. If you're logging in using the mobile app, just remember the credentials to log into the mobile app are exactly the same as the ones for the website. Um, but you'll find in the mobile app, the hamburger navigation down the side, you'll scroll down. Once you get logged in, you'll see pool reservations and be able to make the reservation from the mobile app. Okay, we're all logged in here. You can tell that uh, I've got my name appears in the upper left corner. That's how you know you're logged in. So then to make a pool reservation, you'll see this button is the top button on the right hand side once you're logged in. So just simply click that. You've hit the pool reservation button. You'll be directed to this page here. At the top of the calendar, you'll see my reservations tab. So once you have reservations in the system, this is where you will go to view and manage any current or future reservations. The second tab, book a reservation, will also display all the facilities and the time slots available for each. Please note in the upper corner here, you'll find the date where you wish to make your reservation. So say we were making this reservation, this is the current day. You can also select future dates by going here. Say you wanted to make one for July the 29th. Um, but just remember, reservations can be made seven days in advance. Okay, so depending on what day you book your reservation, you'll notice as you scroll down, sort of grayed out, you'll see the word past. Uh, what this indicates is time slots that have already expired. So just remember to, to scroll down. Okay, so scroll. All right. If you scroll down, you'll see blocks of available time slots for each of the open pool facilities for that particular day. Uh, one of the new features um, is now you can view how many spots are available in each category. Um, so scroll down, uh, you'll see say for example Founders Recreation there are 40 spots. So next you would select the activity for the desired pool time and facility by clicking on the button. So uh, we'll pick here Founders Recreation. So we would click here on 40 slots open because apparently that's how many there are for this category. So I'm going to click there. All right, the next page you'll be directed to will be the pool reservations details right here. So it looks a little different. So I'll just move the screen slightly. Um, also, one thing to note, you see this clock is running here. There is a five limit, five minute time limit to complete your reservation. But don't worry, if you are starting to run out of time, all you do is hit this button that says request more time. All right, you'll see in the field underneath pool reservation detail, uh, we had selected originally Founders Recreation, which is what we had previously selected. You can change that if you wish. So all you would do is pull down if you decided, instead of having to go back, uh, you can just use this pull down switch and select any of the others. But we're going to keep it Founders Recreation. All right, next is the reservation date. Um, and we've got actually the 28th, so that's good. Uh, reservation time. Uh, there's a few slots. We have one at 4.15 or 5.30, so you would select. The next field is a duration. Uh, so I would do that pull down window. Um, 90 minutes is what is selected for this particular, so you would need to pull that window down and click on 90 minutes. Okay easy enough. The next section is members and guests. 
um, but please remember our current policy is members only. Even though it says members and guests here, we have gone ahead and built this into the program for possibly future guest access. All right, so you see my name because I'm the one making the reservation. That appears first. And for this particular time, you have the option to add three additional members for this reservation. So if you wanted to add a member, you would go to this button where it says add a member. Now the good thing here is all you do is begin to type the person's, the member's last name and a list of members will populate. Well, we'll pick Smith. All right, might take just a minute. And there are a number of Smiths pop up. So we'll pick, pick David Smith today. So we're gonna select him. Uh, phone number, there you go, there you have it. Um, if we need to make a change, all you do is simply hit clear and that removes. Uh, one also interesting point to remember is the current policy in place allows members to visit the pools seven times over a 14 day period. If you add a member, say we add Jane Doe, um, if you add her and she decides that she wants to book her own reservation, um, she would only get six choices. There's six chances if she decided to book because if she is on another reservation, um, she's basically only allowed seven times over 14 days. Um, but anyway, anyway, that's pretty much all there is to that, but you are allowed for this particular module to put four in. So we'll scroll on down and the next field is uh, if you need to leave any notes for any reason. Um, and then by default, you're automatically going to be sent an email confirmation. So basically that's it. From there, you just hit click reservation and you're ready to go to the pool. Hope that was helpful and uh, we'll, we'll keep you updated with any other changes. Thanks.